Hello, I'm Robert Fowler from the Pure Feed Company, and we're here today with one of our sponsored riders, Laura Collett. Hi, Laura. Um, can you tell us, some of our fans, about how you got in, into horses and, and a bit of your background? Um, well, I started about the age of two. Um, I just happened to fall in love with horses, and I think mum had my brother on a pony, and he wanted to be on the floor, and I wanted to be on the pony, so we sort of swapped quite quickly. And ever since then, just sort of carried on loving them and uh, decided quite quite a young age that that's what I wanted to do as my career and started in showing and pony club and all of that and then at the age of 13 decided I wanted to do something a bit more challenging and ended up choosing eventing and here I am now. So uh, your first ponies what 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 did you do with those um, and what was it showing or, or or what sort of things did you do with them? My first pony I had like when I was very, very young was just, you know, pony club, Jim Carner, a bit of jumping and all of that. And then uh, progressed to a little section A um, called Botma Winston, who I did showing on, working hand ponies. And he went to the Horse of the Year show when I was seven. And I went there every year since till I was 13. And yeah, I did a mixture of everything, show hand ponies, working hand ponies, show ponies. M and M flat, sort of everything. Uh, had a very good little Welsh section A called Glenwood Caradog, who went to Olympia and was reserve champion there. And the last time I went towards the year show was with a little working hunter pony, and he ended up going supreme champion. So finished on quite a good high. <laughs> so when you when you finished your showing career and decided to take up a new sport, it was eventing you 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 decided on. Um, and how did you go about finding the right equine partner for that? Probably in all the wrong ways, really. Um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do for sure, whether it was show jumping or eventing. We just went out and looked at, um, there was a little advert in Horse and Hound that said 14-2 potential event pony. And we went to see him and he happened to be just incredible and we probably shouldn't have bought him. Mum didn't want to buy him because it was the first pony we went to see and all the wrong things really when you're buying a horse or pony um, but I was so determined and luckily it was my money I'd always had one that I would produced bought unbroken produced and sold and so it was my money so I decided that I was going to buy him and he turned out to be amazing and he was Noble Springbok who went on to win medals at the Pony European Championships. And, and he's still going is he with, with another rider? He is. He's incredible. He um, has won team and individual medals at every Europeans he's been to. Um, I did one on him. Then we sold him to Libby Soli, who did two Europeans on him. And then he's now with Grace Walker, who at her first championships last year won two medals on him as well. So he's pretty incredible and I'm very lucky that I still get to ride him. And he's still kept here with you now? He is, yeah. I'm very fortunate to be based at the Walker's Yard. Um, so they own some of my top horses and I help Grace on spring and her other horse, Vancouver. So, yeah, it's a fantastic setup. That's great.